Mercury Retrograde is out here in full force, people, making people do uh, the darndest things, like Diddy hanging out with his son's ex-girlfriend, reported ex-girlfriend, I should say. You guys, Diddy, the 49-year-old rapper, was spotted in New York City with Steve Harvey's 22-year-old stepdaughter, Lori Wright, here. Jason and hmm. Brianna in our control room. What do you guys think about their color-coordinated outfits, first of all? My dad <laughs> has those outfit. shorts. Yeah, they look really <laughs> cute. They both look really cute, actually. When I first saw this picture, I was like, wow, she looks really cute in those pants. Well, Brianna, cute or cute together? I don't no. know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Well, that's the big question here. Obviously, um, you know, Lori once reportedly dated Diddy's son. Mm -hmm. So now she's hanging out with Diddy, you know, on the streets of New York City. So people are a little confused by that. Is it weird? Is it not weird? Are they friends? Are they more than friends? Well, I, I don't, Cassie, I don't think that this is happening because we know that she was friends with Diddy's, you know, late, I guess, relationship, last person relationship, Kim Porter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think it's more of a dad stepdaughter situation, I would imagine. Okay, fair, fair. I mean, rumors did begin circling. I mean, they've, there's been rumors for a minute now surrounding the two, but TMZ actually reports that sources close to Diddy shot those rumors down all yeah. the way back in March, telling the outlet that, you know, Lori is just a family friend. But to me, obviously, this is my own personal opinion, not based on fact, it's just based on opinion. You know, I, I think about it in a personal scenario that if like my dad was hanging out with my brother's ex-girlfriend, like it would be kind of weird. That, okay, point taken. Especially that's, that's now, that we, now that we right. know that he's single. Yeah. Because he and Cassie aren't together anymore, and mm. you know. And it, the, now that Cassie, your guys, Cassie is really right about that. Now I think about it, it would be a little, it would be a little weird. It's but again, strange. we and it's strange is the word, but we don't. Again, we don't know the parameters or, or right. the relationship behind closed doors. And again, 100%. all this is reported. This is this, this claims. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying it, and I'm also not buying the shorts he has on or or anything that Diddy's been wearing these days. It's like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> You're worth $600 million. They got those color coordinated Can we get some outfits. Sean John going but or something? Hypothetically speaking, even this was, even if this is like a platonic relationship, strictly family, friends, is it weird to be hanging out with your child's reported ex? No. Well, okay, here's why it's not weird, because I have... My ex was close with my mom. Your ex close with your mom. Okay. So, and I mean, even though I'm not a celebrity, but your mom wouldn't be dating your ex. But but, but I know. But we but we're, we're debunking that that's not happening, right? But you you had said it was still strange that you'd be hanging out with your son's ex girlfriend, right? Right. But if my mom was hanging out with my ex boyfriend, which she would never, cause she's on my team, she would never like it. Just it would be weird. And, no, I agree, it's weird. But there are situations where you just because no. you break up doesn't mean you break. You're still part of the family. It happens, at least in New Mexico. <laughs> Not in Michigan. My mom is not hanging out with any of my ex-boyfriends. V, what are your last thoughts on this? I mean, I do think it's a little weird. Like, probably don't be seen out with mm -hmm. your son's reported ex-girlfriend uh, when we know that you're single and probably looking. So, yeah, just... Okay. Let's just not do it. We need to get our heads out of the gutter, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Shall we move on? Moving on. Uh Today, couple Lily Reinhardt is now clapping back at those Cole Sprouse breakup rumors, telling people to kiss her where the sun don't shine. Ba -ba -ba. People, this is Lily's tweet saying to everyone, don't believe everything you read on the internet, kids. And news sources should try a little harder to be less vile. Vile. Reliable sources can kiss my and we had to blur out the rest. We, oh, <laughs> we, we, we can't say ass on well, no, you, we, we just blur it. Oh. <laughs> Safe rather than sorry, Jason. Got it, but, got know, it. Of course, you guys, this comes, you know, just days after multiple reports surfaced that Lily and Cole stopped dating after uh, almost two years. And obviously, a lot of people are um, sad over it, especially fans of the two. But we still don't have a confirmation from either of them. She's just tweeting things like that and putting things on social media like this, too. Right.
uh, subtweets and weird cryptic cryptic posts are all we're getting from them too. Um, also, the, 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 this from her Instagram from the W cover. Cole Sprouse chimed in as well. Yes, he did. So they both they both are part of the latest issue of W Magazine, and what you just saw is Lily again saying, "None of you know ish." And Cole also kind of <clears throat> seemingly responded to all of the breakup rumors that are going around too with his own. Caption, this one had us a little, a little bit confused. He said, unprecedented. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt consumed the flesh of reliable sources to fuel their Bacalanian sex cult. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> you, you did. Uh, Your face is like, what Because did Cole that Sprouse say? is the most. I mean, we, we were just at Comic-Con, and we, and we caught up with the whole cast of Riverdale. And, it was just, and, we're, and again, the rumors have been speculating there, right? And so you're, you're looking at the chemistry between... Cole and Lily the whole time, and it did. I thought personally that there was a little cold. It was a little cold and not as um, warm as we've seen them in the past. Right. I will say, like obviously, just as a fan of the couple, you know, I kind of have done like a little deep dive, and I've been noticing in in some recent interviews they've been uh, sitting separately, whereas they used to pose together. They used to sit right <laughs> next to each other, and even the W Magazine separate interviews. issue that they did, they had two separate interviews. Mm-hmm. Granted, it was um, it was. Conducted a couple months ago, but still, it, it kind of just makes you think, like, okay, were the issues then? But I don't know. At the end of the day, I just want to know, like, yes or no? Like, why you got to be trolling us, Lily? I know, but th- because they're, they're trying to, see, they want to control the narrative. You know. What and I mean? at the end of the day, I do have to say, because that sounded a little bit disrespectful on my part, um, is is they have a private relationship right. and what happens behind closed doors is up to them and they have a very public relationship too and if they want to keep it private by all means Do yes that. you are entitled they to owe that. us nothing they owe us nothing exactly but i just the the, the trolling the, the tweets the instagram captions why can't she just like spell it out for us b what are your thoughts on it yeah i feel like just don't say anything at all. Like, either say something or don't say anything at all. And I feel say like they didn't say, say anything. anything. <laughs> right. But also, they, I feel, Brianna, I feel like they have to get in front of this, too, because they are a pivotal relationship and shipment mm-hmm. on a huge show that has a fandom that is, right. like, crazy. My thing is, you made a really good point about controlling the narrative. At least in my personal opinion, why don't they just say, y'all, don't believe what you say. We're still together. They're still right. not They're still not admitting that they are together if they are. Right. Well, the subtext of all this context is probably that they're not. Reportedly. Reportedly. Allegedly. Allegedly. So Play. they just say that. That's what right. I'm saying. Right, right, but right. But on the other hand, devil's advocate, they have a private life. And, you know, if we all had super public relationships, maybe we wouldn't want them, you know, in the eyes of millions of people to okay. have right. their own opinions. Yeah. I agree. Okay. So, yeah, gonna, just say mind your business People are going to have them regardless on. anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah well, look, look, they're not sorry. And, you know, relationships are just the most. But, no, who else? We're not getting any apologies from Lillian Cole, right? But mm-hmm. Nicole Murphy. Is now saying she is sorry for kissing a married man. Oh, Nicole, the 51-year-old model, was spotted kissing director Antoine Fuqua by a pool Fuqua. in Italy. And uh, you know, Nicole is, for as far as we know, single. And uh, the the thing here is Antoine is not. He has been married <laughs> since 1999. I know I had to approach that very I know. Uh, Good job, Laura. with, with Good job. caution, very delicately. And Such a now pro. Nicole is apologizing. She issued a statement to TMZ saying that she does not condone women kissing or interacting and in any way inappropriately. And this was after she apologized to her family, Talila, and the Fuqua family. Sorry, we're going back and forth with these quotes right here. But she said it was not her intention to be in this situation. And again, she apl- she apologized to her family, to Antoine's family, and to Antoine's wife, Lila. Like I mentioned, he has been married to, to actress Lila Roshan oh since 99. Over oh, 20 years, 20 mm-hmm. years. And so, I, I mean, people, the question people had was if, if Lila and Antoine are possibly not together anymore did he not tell if they are separate if If it's something that the public does not exactly right well this comes her apology comes literally just right after she issued an earlier statement that said she and Antoine were just family friends she says that she ran into him in Italy and they exchanged a very friendly hello and that was it you just ran into him in a foreign country and you kiss on the lips.
I mean, I mean that's so people were of course well, once they saw that photo once they saw that original um, statement of hers they got a little the people had comments and hence why I think she ended up apologizing for the situation B I heard you chiming in what's up yeah I was just gonna say that was a very long hello <laughs> looks like very it was long. a long hello well here's the thing a you, couple you hellos. say that it looks to be a long hello an eyewitness actually told ET that Murphy and Fuqua were there at the pool <clears throat> for half an hour and they went unrecognized by the hotel's other guests and then they also said the eyewitness told ET that the pair first kissed sitting down on the pool chair which is what we showed you and not long after they shared a second kiss standing up they also lounged around the pool and took a dip in the pool they were relaxed happy and they seem very friendly and at ease with one another so I think between her original statement and then you know eyewitness reporting she ended up apologizing for the situation which oh, fine she apologize for the situation with, with everything you just told us from, I, from, from our own sources and what we're reading and getting from TMZ and other places and she was a family friend, she would have had to know, have known. I don't know. I feel like it's not all adding up for me, right? It's, it is a little tricky situation. And Brianna did notice earlier today when she was prepping for this story, she was trying to pull photos. And she noticed that literally earlier this year in May, not too long ago, Nicole and Antoine were at an after party. And right. not together. I would, I, would, I would say, in my personal opinion, it doesn't look like they're together. It only appears that she was supporting him. Maybe this was his uh, Muhammad Ali documentary that mm -hmm. he directed and executive produced. And if your family friends it's not out of the norm to go to an right. event per se and support said family friends but I do want to know that ET has reached out to reps for Nicole Murphy for Antoine Fuqua um, and uh, Antoine's wife as well so uh, I will say this so the positive there's all the silver lining though Cass and Brie is that she did apologize she is taking taking responsibility for any um, feelings that may have been hurt yes. or anything that may have transpired that is right. negative and that I mean right. there, look more people should do that in 2019 and they're not. People make mistakes and this is not um, an area for any type of uh, woman shaming or anything right. like that. Sure. She took the high road and she apologized and, you know, we can all just move on from here. Brie, can we pull back up that picture of Antoine, though, uh, uh, and, you know, shirtless in the shorts? Do we have that still? Because <laughs> you I, just want to go back uh, to that I one? Didn't know, I didn't know Antoine Fuqua had, had it going on like that. Yeah, I was, I was like, a little <laughs> surprised. Right, like six-pack, <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Like, what, can I, can I get on his Wheaties diet come through, Antoine? Uh, <laughs> Fitness Friday. Uh, right. Appreciation Shoot, for Antoine, Antoine for the Fuqua. for the win. Just goals. I mean, I, forget the In-N-Out burger I had last night. How about those bagels we that had we today? had this morning? No, see, Antoine. Antoine is indirectly body shaming me. Thanks, Antoine. And no shaming here of any kind. Let's move on to our MVP, you guys. The most viral post. No ACL problems right here. Megan the Stallion's knees are our MVP today. And you guys, the internet is freaking out and taking notice because this girl, I mean, do, it looks like she drinks her vitamin C because those knees are real strong right there. And as you mentioned, Jay, earlier, it looks like she does her squats, too. I, I, <laughs> before we went to air, I tried doing that in the kitchen as I was eating my bagel. I can't even get down that it's way. And you're not even in heels. <laughs> She's in st Oh, oh, oh. And, and, and I can't make anything clap. Yeah. <laughs> And she's, she, that stance she, is sturdy. Yo. Yo, you got that Antoine Fuqua right, body. Hey, hey. Nothing's Megan clapping. the Stallion had a whole applause going oh, on yeah. back there, you guys. That's how she was. The people were literally in her comments talking about her knees. Oh, yeah. No, uh, what is it like? I, I ACL know, meniscus. Yeah, your ACL. She ain't got no knee problems right here. Wow. Made of vibranium. Vibra <laughs> her knees are made of vibranium. Yes, huh. Wakanda forever. Go living, come through, Megan living the Stallion. Living her best life. And uh, someone else who's living her best life, too, is SZA. So after that show with Megan, um, she actually initiated SZA into the Hot Girl Club. It looks to be backstage, but um, you know, here's the thing: is so she, ha Megan, has like a bottle of. Uh, I'm not very. Well, Maker's Mark. Deuce Day. I think it looks. I think I it's Deuce. I said Maker's oh, Mark. Oh, Deuce. Brianna, I don't even know what that is. Deuce, come on. She no, got to drive the boat. Yeah, Deuce is just a. It's. Oh no, that is Hennessy. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, so I was right. You were right. That's Hennessy, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. wow. And I don't even drink Hennessy. That's the best part. So she gives, says a, a, a shot of Hennessy. Hennessy. 
But here's the thing is it's the weakest pour in the entire world. Megan may have super strong knees, but she's got a weak pour right here. Like, just look really closely. It's like well, the tiniest Cassie. amount of alcohol. Okay, first of all, they're moving back and forth. Megan's probably twerking while she's putting the Hennessy in. You don't want to just, like, drown SZA in, in, in dark liquor. I know. But if you're initiating her into the hot girl club you, or any, I have never, I don't even like drinking and I don't really hold my liquor very well. But like once upon a time when I went to Mexico, I mean, you, you, you down more than just a little bit of that. You guys, Cassie talking about this morning was like, that is the weakest pour ever. <laughs> Like, how dare she? That is a little baby shot. But I think SZA doesn't drink because she looked a little nervous before she poured it in her mouth. And Mish she doesn't like Hennessy. Yeah, she commented on her Instagram and she said that she doesn't really drink. And I'm now her head hurts. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, she's got a hot girl hangover yeah. right there. Because I feel like usually when Megan is pouring, she does a little heftier pour than that. So I think she probably yeah. just adjusted she a little bit for SZA. She probably knew and was like a little bit respectful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, respectful. Yeah, she's respectful. If if someone doesn't like drinking, yeah, then maybe <laughs> I know. I'm know. just saying, like, except the bartender in Mexico, he knew I didn't like drinking and just kept going. It was a respectful <laughs> pour for for everyone. Uh, all right, you guys, that is it for us on the download today. Brianna in our control room. Jason Carter in for Diddy Directo. And I'm Cassie. I'm gonna be out all next week. Bye. I'm gonna be back home in Michigan, but I'll see you guys when I come back. Bye.